Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up a romantic charcuterie board or grazing board for two that can be used for anniversaries, an engagement, Valentine's Day, or just a date night at home. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this and all of the things that I used, then just keep watching. The blanks I used with my Cricut for this project were two of these glass champagne flutes from Dollar Tree, two of these small bread plates also from Dollar Tree, and then two of these red gift boxes. And then the cutting board I picked up at TJ Maxx. The vinyl I used on the blanks are from TechRap Craft Vinyl. I used this roll of textured metallic adhesive vinyl in the color gold. This vinyl has a textured metallic leaf effect with a glossy finish and gives your project an elegant but subtle shimmer. This ended up being the perfect vinyl for the cutting board and you're going to see what I'm talking about later on in the video. And then the other roll of vinyl I used was this clear cold color changing vinyl in the color red, which I thought would be perfect for the champagne glasses. Both of these vinyls by TechRap Craft are available in 5, 10, or 82 foot rolls. And if you use my code CPANDA10 at checkout, you can save 10% off your order. And that goes for anything on the website, not just the vinyl. They also have tools, accessories, and even cutting mats. I'll leave the website and links down below to the products used in this video if you're interested in checking them out. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the projects. I'm not going to do a full design space tutorial in this video, but just give you the basic information like the font I used in design space and the cut settings for the vinyl. If you want a full design space tutorial, I invite you to check out my Cricut playlist. I have a bunch of tutorials on how to use design space there. The font I used for all of my projects was called Love Spell. It is a Cricut Access font. And then as you can see here, I welded a couple of those designs together. The gold is going to be that textured metallic vinyl and then the red is the color changing vinyl. And then in the prepare mat screen, I just kind of shift things around where I want them to be cut. And as for the material setting, I am using my Cricut Maker and the setting that I chose for the clear um, color changing vinyl was just the vinyl setting and then I changed the pressure to less. And then for the textured metallic, I changed that um, to premium textured vinyl and then I also changed the pressure to less. I find that these settings are perfect. They cut perfectly on my Cricut Maker. The color changing vinyl has a thin protective layer that helps prevent scratches and damage to the vinyl. So just be sure to peel it back before loading your mat into your machine. After the Cricut cut out my vinyl, it was time to weed the designs. And I love this part of crafting with vinyl and I say it all the time, all of TechRap Crafts vinyls weed like butter. Um, but I have to say out of all of the vinyls I've used by TechRap Craft so far, for some reason, this textured metallic vinyl is the easiest and fastest vinyl I've ever weeded. And that's across all brands. Um, and I just want to make a bunch of different projects with it just so I can weed this vinyl because I love weeding vinyl. I just find it so therapeutic for some reason, but I 100% recommend this textured metallic vinyl roll. It is a breeze to work with. And I get asked a lot in my videos what tool this is that I'm using for weeding and it's called a pin pen or weeding pen. And I do get this from TechRap Craft as well. They have a bunch of like really cute designs. I think this one is called like the Mermaid Scales pen. I do use this one a lot. It's just a favorite of mine. But ever since I have used, started using the weeding pen, um, I really don't use a weeding hook tool anymore unless there is a specific vinyl that says to use the weeding hook. I just find using the pen is much easier for me. And it's also a great little tool to like put back little pieces of vinyl that you accidentally pull up. It also helps to like place like dots and eyes back into place and things like that. So it does take some um, practice to get used to. But a tip that I have is kind of try to hold the weeding pen at an angle, don't hold it like straight up and down. Um, just kind of hold it at an angle and um, use your fingers to kind of pull off those little pieces and kind of stick them to your finger. And then when you're done, you can kind of just peel off a big 
chunk of vinyl from your fingers instead of like trying to swipe your pin pen every single time you pull up a piece of vinyl if that makes sense. But for the rest of the weeding process I'm going to go ahead and just speed that up a bit because I do have a lot of other steps to show you guys in this video. I'm gonna run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got Keep on driving and driving along the road to never end As my head don't feel my spark between the jars and bottle jug Just me and all the red lights Keep on driving and driving To apply both the textured and color changing vinyls, I'm using this purple grid transfer tape also from Tech Wrap Craft. It's a medium tack transfer tape, which is suitable for both of these vinyls. I just cut a piece off that was big enough to cover the first piece that I was going to apply to my cutting board. And then I just went ahead and removed the backing off the transfer tape and then placed it sticky side up on my desk. And then I took my vinyl and placed it onto the transfer tape. Um, and then I just use a squeegee tool to burnish both sides to the transfer tape and then peel the backing of the vinyl away from the transfer tape. And then just using some scissors, I separated the three pieces that I was going to apply separately to the cutting board, starting with the biggest piece, which was the circles. And these are for the champagne bottle, the big circles for the champagne bottle. And then the two smaller circles that says his and hers are for the champagne glasses. And I just think this color was perfect. This vinyl was perfect for this cutting board. It was like it was made for this cutting board. It just looks so good and elegant and it doesn't stand out too much, which I really like. I didn't want it to be, um, I didn't want to use like a black or a white vinyl. I thought it would just kind of take away from the food that I want to put on the charcuterie board. So I'm really happy I went with this textured metallic gold vinyl and just as easy it is as it is to weed it's really easy to apply um, as you saw there it went very smoothly I didn't have any issues with it and so I'm just going to apply the sweet and the salty to the board as well I decided I wanted the words on there um, that way I can kind of build around those words so I'll put all of like my sweets like my candies and stuff all down at the bottom of the charcuterie board and then like more of my salty foods I'm going to put more at the top and then they can kind of meet in the middle um, so that's kind of where I was going with that but again I love this vinyl I think it's so perfect for this cutting board yeah. I forgot how you look like in rain that's where I never thought it would matter if I'm gone by now here I'm using the same method I used for the cutting board to apply my decals to the bread plates. And again, this vinyl is stunning. I'm obsessed and I'm ordering every color they have. I only have the gold so far, but I really like how easy it is again to work with. And there has been zero bubbling, which is always a big pet peeve of mine, but there's been zero bubbling with this vinyl so far, which is awesome. Um, this vinyl isn't permanent, but it does have a very strong bond which is perfect for projects like this because I don't want these plates or my cutting board to stay like this forever. I'm using these plates and the glasses for my husband and I's wedding anniversary coming up in March, but I do want to be able to reuse these plates for maybe next year's anniversary or something else. So I think this vinyl is perfect for something temporary like this. So if you're a small business owner and do events and parties or something like that, just order a case of plates or glasses from Dollar Tree and this vinyl and then you're good to go. 
And then for the glasses, I'm reusing the same transfer tape that I used for the plates. I like to reuse transfer tape whenever I can to cut down on cost. Um, but this vinyl was also very easy to work with and apply. It has a like a plastic texture. Um, so it's very easy to weed and to like remove the transfer tape as well. And for the glasses, I use a alcohol swab to clean off any oils or residue that may be on the glasses or fingerprints. And then I let that completely dry before applying my vinyl. So for the champagne glasses, I just decided to do the number seven for um, our seven year anniversary. And then I just did some XOs and then randomly placed those around the glasses. I did three XOs on each glass and I'm kind of out of frame here, but I was trying to line up the sevens to be the same height on both of the glasses. When they're placed next to each other, they don't look off. And for the most part, I just used my fingers to rub on the vinyl and then just remove the transfer tape. These were super easy to do and very fast. And here is what the effect looks like when you add cold water. So the vinyl changes to red. I think it's so fun. Um, and I wanted to show you what it looked like with a clear liquid because later on in the video, I'm going to be using um, a red liquid so it's going to make the vinyl look like a darker red but here is what it looks like with just water and then for the boxes I also put the number seven in the bottom right hand square of the bow and I just thought these would be super cute to maybe put on top of the place setting or the plates to be able to exchange our gifts in we each get a box and we always go by like the traditional um wedding gifts by year so i think this year is copper or um some sort of metal <laughs> but i have to get on that i have to figure out what i'm going to do this year we always try to get like super creative um so hopefully our gifts to each other will fit in these boxes Now it's time for the setup. Everything in this clip is going to be from Dollar Tree. I just took this gold decorative tray and three cylinder vases and filled the bottom with two bags of these clear gems. Then I just took a rosebud off of these velvet rose stems and placed one in each of the vases at the bottom um, on top of those gems. And then I just filled them with water and placed floating candles at the top. I did buy two packs of these floating candles at Dollar Tree and I had one left over. So super easy, simple, but very elegant looking and it's so romantic and it just fits the whole theme perfectly um, with the golds and reds that I'm using. Before I get into styling the snack board, I'm gonna show you a little hack on how to make a rose out of salami to make your charcuterie board look so fancy and cute. It's super easy. You're just going to take a wine glass and I used about a half pack of this salami and I just started folding half of the salami over the rim of the glass, overlapping until I got to the center. The more salami you use, the bigger your rose is going to be. Again, I use about a half a pack of salami or a sleeve. Then just pop it in the fridge with the salami still on the wine glass um, until you're ready to start styling your board. Whenever I'm styling these snack boards, I find it easiest just to set everything out on a table in front of me. Even if I don't end up using all of it, most of the time I don't use everything I put out because it would just look too cluttered. But basically what I do is I just raid my pantry and my fridge and just throw everything on the table that might make the team. And this process does take me a little while to do because I'm a bit of an overthinker. So I will be speeding this part up just a little bit, but I'll do my best to explain my process and tell you where I got some of the things. So I like to start off with taking my biggest piece and kind of working around that. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm using this Dollar Tree tin heart 
and then I'm just kind of putting it in the bottom left corner and then filling it with some chocolate covered strawberries that I made and this chocolate drizzled popcorn from Dollar Tree and then I go back in and add some um, caramel popcorn that I found in my pantry because that Dollar Tree popcorn wasn't it didn't look as appealing as it did on um, the packaging so I kind of covered it up but I also have these chocolate covered pretzels from Dollar Tree. I thought they were so cute. I never found the white chocolate ones, but um, not a big deal. I just used these and I couldn't figure out how I wanted to place these. I ended up um, going back later and standing them up and you're gonna see that in a minute. But these little um, doilies from the Valentine's Day section are perfect to put meats and cheeses on. I really don't like to put them directly on the cutting board. I know that's weird because you can cut meat and cheese on it, but I just like it to be on like a paper liner. And then the cheese trio I did get from Costco. It's a trio of Spanish, Spanish cheeses and they are so good. Highly recommend. And then that little ceramic heart dish came in a pack of two from the Target dollar spot. And that's what I used to put the pretzel rods in here in a second. So yeah, I just took those chocolate covered pretzel rods and put them in that little heart dish and then moved the little store-bought cupcakes over. And I like that this adds like a 3D or pop out effect. Not everything is flat, which I like. So next I just take some of these hazelnut chocolates. I love the gold packaging and I, I wanted to make like a pyramid um, like you see in a lot of like really fancy um, Valentine's Day like gifts, but I didn't want to hot glue them. So I just kind of stuck them down there and then I went back later and fixed them. But here I just take a cupcake liner and I filled it with some jelly hearts from Dollar Tree. And then I took some little chocolates also from Dollar Tree and put them in that tin to make the um, right side pop a little bit and then now I go and get my salami rose and that's all I did I just flipped the glass over and it's a rose so easy um, to do and it just looks so cute it really makes the charcuterie board it's like a main focal point so there are three focal points on this board which is a lot but if you line them up um, like you'll see later on when I put the um, champagne glasses and then the champagne down though the rose the champagne glass and then the heart tin are all in a diagonal line so it doesn't confuse the eye so um, that's kind of it for this charcuterie board I'm just kind of filling in some gaps with some more of the little cupcake liner so I have some trail mix and I even went back and picked out all of the <laughs> red M&Ms and swapped them for like the blue and green M&Ms and then I just have some um, flatbread crackers some pretzel thin some pistachios and then I just add some more cheese to that and so now all that's left is to place my bottled beverage in the circle and then place my glasses in the his and hers circle and then fill them up. Still it feels like a pretend. Keep on driving and driving along the road tonight. As my head of humans park between the jars and bottle jug. Just me and all the red lights. Keep on driving and driving. And then the final step was just to create the place setting. So I took two gold chargers from Dollar Tree followed by these dinner plates from Dollar Tree and then the bread plates that I had decaled. And then I also decided to use these little silverware sets from Dollar Tree as well. I just kind of tucked them underneath the bread plate. It would have been perfect if they had gold silverware, um, but they only had silver silverware or plastic cutlery. And then I just topped it with our little gift boxes so we can exchange gifts. And I do want to point out that in real life, when we do um, end up having our little anniversary dinner, we are not going to be sitting this close together. Um, I just put everything close together so that I could get it all in one frame to show you guys 
um, how I set everything up. So that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some helpful um, tips and tricks either from um, the cricket side or from the building of the charcuterie board. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel out a lot. If you aren't currently subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. And again, everything I can link will be linked in the description box down below for you if you guys want to check that out. And until my next video, I hope you guys all have an amazing day and thank you so much for watching. Take care.